okay and and if a child does end up having to take their child if a parent and does end up having to take their child to an urgent care center are th there things that they can do to make the visit go more smoothly and and hopefully less stressfully oh, certainly urgent care can be a great place uh, to take your children rather than emergency room um, again use it because the weight is less um, and especially here at Goodnight Pediatrics, we, we try to get you in and out um, as quickly as you can. Um, and again, with any child who has breathing issues, they're always going to be taken care of you know, right away. Um, some of the things you can do, first of all, are make sure that the urgent care you're going to sees children, because a lot of them do not. So make sure they will actually see children and have board-certified pediatricians that are there to see your child. Um, make sure that, obviously, your insurance is accepted there if you want to use your insurance at the urgent care. Sometimes you can call ahead um, if there's very minor issues and see you know, how, how much is the weight right now. Often it's hard to tell you, but sometimes you can do that. Um, explain to your child ahead of time uh, in the car on the way that what will happen in an urgent care, because some children are, uh, can get upset if they've been to, they're used to going to the regular pediatrician and they're used to that environment, but if, when you're in a new, new office and people are um, taking their oxygen levels and taking their blood pressure and it's a new person doing it they can they can become unnerved by that and of course they're not feeling so well to begin with so uh, you may want to explain to them what's going to happen when you get there um, a lot of urgent cares like goodnight pediatrics you can fill out paperwork online or you can download the paperwork online print it out have it all filled out by the time you get to the door that'll make the the wait much less have your insurance card available and know all your child's bring your medications. All these things can make the visit faster. Um, make sure you bring something to do while your child is waiting. So a book, um, their little iPad, a little game that they can play quietly. Uh, we also have some videos uh, available here that our children watch in our waiting room. But when they're inside the room, make sure they have something to do. Um, I would bring uh, a jacket or a second layer of clothing because we're here in Las Vegas or Henderson, Nevada, mm -hmm. and as you know, you always have to have a jacket here in the summer uh, because everything is over air conditioned. So the children will come from a hot environment and then be freezing, so you may want to bring them an extra jacket. Um, if they have a favorite toy that will comfort them, or if they have a, a, a blanket or something that they like to hold, please bring that for them as well, or a pillow. Those are things you can do, uh, hopefully, to make the experience better. Uh, for them because they're going to be in a new environment and probably frightened when they get here.